And greetings! I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4. I want to welcome everybody as we get ready to do finish off the Automatron DLC. Last week, last week, last stream, two days ago, two days ago. <laughs> it's it's always fun doing these streams in the middle of a busy work week. I'm like, oh, I'd forget my name. <laughs> I feel like sometimes. But uh, it's a beautiful day. We're still riding a little bit of that heat wave, but nothing too crazy. We got a nice little sunrise behind us. But yeah, uh, a couple of days ago, the last stream, we started the Automatron DLC, where we uh, ended up responding to a distress call from a caravan who had a robot with them. All the caravanners died in that attack, but in the ashes of that particular battlefield, the ro surviving robot, Ada, told us that they were being harassed by robots built by someone known as the Mechanist. And we recovered a holotape, and it was a very interesting, like, over-the-top villain type thing. And uh, so, yeah, these robots are now kind of plaguing the Commonwealth, and the Mechanist is a clear and present danger to all of the survivors in, uh, in the wasteland that is uh, the new Massachusetts main kind of area. Uh, most of this game does take place over the, over, over like the area of Eastern Massachusetts. And so we're going to be dealing with the mechanist here, and we're also going to be doing it in a, uh, fairly non-standard way. I don't know if, um, I don't know how many people don't necessarily know about this, but, um, there is an alternate way of getting to the mechanist that we're going to be doing, uh, today, uh, as we do this stream. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, after the fact, feel free to check me out on Twitch and participate or watch live. Uh, and of course, the usual first, uh, you know, like, subscribe, the, the whole business. So without any further ado, let's kind of get this started. And I've also tweaked my microphone settings finally. So hopefully they actually sound the way they're supposed to sound. Because when I originally did this, I had set up my, uh, my computer. I had to reinstall Windows. And so I did a very, very quick OBS installation, and I just kind of threw together the audio filters for my microphone. And so now I actually properly did a recording, did the proper EQ and all that, and I, I think I have it sounding better. But uh, it is the first time I've actually run with this particular configuration, hopefully correct configuration live. So feel free to comment on that if you, if you uh, please, if it so suits you. But in any event, let's get Fallout fired up here, and we will continue. <clears throat> Excellent. Why, thank you, Ghosty. Greetings. How are you? Long time no chat. <laughs> I think it's been all of, like, what, five minutes? <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, when last we played, we were originally going to get to the Rust Devil's Den, but we got a little tripped up at Grey Garden, and uh, we couldn't quite get there on the timetable that I had in my head. But that's okay. Um, we'll finish off the DLC today. All right, so we're at Grey Garden. We really probably should sleep somewhere. Let's see. Uh, or do we just make our way over there? You know what? I've got an idea. I know exactly what we're going to do. Okay. Since we're in that region anyway. And of course, I was just petting my cat, so my sinuses and allergies are totally pissed off. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta love my cat. Hopefully, though, she just laid down for a nap. So hopefully she's tuckered out from all of her being a cat asshole type nonsense and she'll sleep for a little while. But I'm sure at some point my feline co-host will show up and decide to uh, wreak some havoc because that's uh, it's generally her want. <laughs> How are the kittens, ghosty? I'm actually glad you live on the West Coast because if you were closer, I'd be like... I, I, I could take one of those kittens. <laughs> They're super... Oh, shit. We got to fight over her. What the hell's going on? Oh, never mind. I think I think that was some Minutemen that took care of that. But we have a Meyer Lurk. Let's deal with this Meyer Lurk. No more Meyer Lurk. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> nice clean shot there. Let's see what's going on over here. 
Huh. What's up with that? Oh, it's a light. Okay, there's nothing else under that bridge. Okay. I could switch back to my normal sidearm. Let's check out who's above it. Yep. Bunch of, uh, bunch of my own guys. Took care of something on the bridge here. Let's go check it out. They're good. Starting to run around. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> cool. We got some raiders. Hey there. This site belongs to the Minutemen. Fuck yeah, it does. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Area secured, General. Damn right it is. Good job. Hell yeah. Oh, that's... Okay. You know what? Let's go check out that building. <laughs> so it's over here. We're actually a little more west than I thought. I kind of wanted to go... I thought we were more north than this, but that's all right. We'll go uh, <laughs> jumping and fighting each other. Yep. They do that play fighting. It's what they do. Helps uh, hone their instincts and everything else. It is good for them, but man, when I was uh, growing up and they would start doing all the, the play fighting, I would freak out and my mom would be like, no, 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 it's, it's fine. It's, it's what they do. <laughs> uh, all right, what's the easier way to get up here? Ugh. Let's see. Let's work our way around this way to get up to that building. And of course, they're so cute at that age when they're uh, playing and fighting, <laughs> acting all tough and everything. And they're just like little tiny, <laughs> especially when they do the butt wiggle right before they pounce. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the fucking greatest for anybody who's never had a really young kitten. Oh, my goodness. There is there is nothing like it. Ah, oh, shit. All right, so we got a bunch of dangerous shit up here because, of course, we have a bunch of dangerous shit up here. All right, what's going on? Uh, I think we got here too late. Deal with that. And then... All right, now they're taken care of. I think we got everybody here. Where are you? You were around here somewhere. There you are. So the robot left leg. So the rust devils use, uh, clearly just looking at them, they use robot parts for armor. And they end up being pretty decent sets. Yeah, I probably actually should be leaving this shit, but you know what? Fuck it. Let's just take it. Yeah, that broken lamp's heavier than it's worth. We will take that stim pack. These scavengers would have been just shot at me, so there's no point in leaving them. Yep, we will take the tablespoon. And at this point, we've we've picked up enough of that. We will pick up tar berries because those are valuable. Okay. So first things first, let's head north and let's go check out that building because it's also easy to miss, and we may as well check out the building while we're here. What time is it in game? It is okay. So it's just before sunrise. <laughs> yeah, when I first checked out this uh, this particular random building, oh boy, I managed to kill myself pretty quickly here. <laughs> you know, what the hell, we'll save it. So yeah, we've uh, got a bunch of extinguishers. Oh, but you know what? We also have a bed. We could also sleep up here. And so, um, yeah, if I, uh, if I shoot any one of these... They will all just kind of launch. But the idea is... What was that? Oh, that's just dog meat. Okay. <sighs> uh, but you could shoot one of them and it just fires. <laughs> so we got a little, like, uh, artillery base. So whoever was here clearly set up some good uh, defenses. Anyway, we can close that door. What do we got? we make anything? I don't think we can make anything. I just think we dropped off all of the food that we picked up and all the meat. Alright, so we can't make anything in this very conveniently located cooking stove. Whatever. We'll take the cigar and the gold-flated flip lighter, though. Okay. 
let's, uh, yeah, we'll sleep for, oh, well, all right, yeah, we'll sleep for a couple hours. Take a bit of a nap before doing this shit. Heal up a little. Reload. All right. We'll come over here. We'll discover this. Means we'll get a little XP as we start working our way around. So this area looks like um, it's like a red rocket over here. Nice little suburb. And depending on how familiar with the area our protagonist here is pre-war, Fort Hagen is kind of close by. And so it makes sense that there's a little bit of... That's a random wild mongrel. Fuckers. Careful, man. I don't think we're alone. Nope, we aren't. Down weapons, okay. And just like that, problem solved. We'll take the bottle caps. <laughs> Damn straight they won't, Rada. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Caught me. Caught me by surprise here. Man, this area certainly uh, didn't weather the nuclear bomb shockwave very well, did it? We can take a look at the refueling plant, just see if there's anything here before we actually make a run at the Dust Devils area. But I don't think there's anything here. This place looks pretty barren. Yeah. Well, we will take duct tape. Ooh, we'll take a Blaxo cleaner. Excellent. All right. Not too shabby. Yeah, we'll take a scalpel. That's nice and light. We'll take more of that. I don't see anything else of value here. We'll take the battered clipboard. Oh, we're already carrying too much. Shit. How did I manage to do that? <laughs> well, uh, fuck. All right. That being the case, shit. Uh, hey, Ada. Hey, what can I do for you? You are going to be my pack mule. So Ada, unlike most of the companions, she has a really high carrying capacity. We could load her right up, and that's what we're doing here. <clears throat> so I may be have to, I may have to be a little more judicious when we. Oh, I still have the vault. 111 jumpsuit. Yeah, you could carry that for me. We'll take care of that later. Uh, it's only one pound, but sure, do that. Why not? Let's. Okay, the rest of these we're gonna keep. Okay. That has our. Yeah, you could carry those protector on legs too. All right. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Mm, yeah, we'll take that. We need bone. We're gonna need bone. A lot of bone later. Okay, so this was still a good salvaging operation. <clears throat> and that's where we're headed. Those, uh, that satellite array all the way up there. That. Okay, thought it was a turret. You know, since we're right next to this fucking building. Let's detect that. <laughs> May as well get the free XP, right? It's because strong back perk is a heavy point investment. It is. It absolutely is. <clears throat> Yeah, it takes a lot to get into uh, strong back. I usually don't invest in that very early. Now, once I start getting strength up a little bit, then yeah, for once we get into luxury picks, I will do that. But for this at this stage of the game, no. Oh, right. I need to take a look here. Make sure I didn't uh, do anything. Oh, we still do. We have to do this ghoul problem at Green Top Nursery. Uh, shit, 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 shit. That might expire. That could be a problem. You know, I'd, I had forgotten about the ghoul problem. This one we're fine because we've already taken care of it. We just have to cash it in. The ghoul problem at Greentop Nursery, we could run into a problem. All right. I'm going to roll the dice and hope that we still have time to clear this out and then go there. I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is time sensitive. I know that when you do, um, when you get the kidnapping quests, those are absolutely time sensitive. Those ghoul ones, though, that might not be, 
that might not be that much of a problem. Okay. So as we make our approach here, we're going to do this nice and smart, nice and stealthy. Let's take a look. We don't see anybody out in front, but we can see a couple of traps. We definitely need to make sure that those turrets don't spot us. I mean, I could shoot the turrets from now, uh, from here, but the problem with that, of course, right, right about here ought to be good. Okay. Let's go up to inventory, explosives. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Put that bottle cap mine here. And we'll do this. <laughs> Alright, now we'll play games and get a little closer. Here's the other one. Let's get this done. Alright. Fuck. Okay. Ada, come on. Withdraw. Ada. God damn it, Ada. Come on, Ada. Come this way. Bring them this way. That's why I put bottle cap mines down. Come on, Ada. You can do it. No, Ada, don't. Oh, my God. Ada is totally thrown off my plan here. <laughs> you can see the point, but Ada is not playing around. Playing nice here. Come on. Come on, you assholes. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Ada. Ada, come here. Oh, my goodness gracious, Ada. God damn it, Ada. I had a perfectly good plan, and you're completely sabotaging it. Can't really blame her, but... I don't want... Uh, I'm too far away, I think. To, I probably could try commanding her to come down. Hey. Head over there. There we go. Try that. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Keep coming this way. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Now then. Hey. Uh, Ada? Please take your components, man. Oh my god. Ada is not cooperating here. <laughs> hey. Yes, ma'am. Uh, never mind. Alright. I guess she already checked it out, and now I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> okay. Now let's re rescale the mountain here without Ada completely throwing off our uh plan find anything useful well we didn't have to use both of them so that was nice where are my caps uh where are my caps <laughs> enter fort hey oh yep okay yep we're close here we don't need that so this worked out very well i don't know where my bottle caps are Damn it. I guess we had to we walked too far away from it. The caps freaking uh despawned. Aw. Oh well. Switching Switching weapons here. Oh, we still got a turret. Just have to find it. Where's our turret? There it is. Problem solved. Just took an extra second. <laughs> All right. Just like that, we're in. Yeah, if we had just walked through that, these uh, flamethrower torches would have uh, ignited, and that would have been terrible. 
All right. So instead of having to come in here, which they had very well defended, we kind of lured them out into the open and used a bottle cap mine to take care of most of them. Well, once we got Ada to finally play along with the plan. Took Ada a second. <laughs> Can't really blame her for going gung-ho, though. All right. Uh, yeah, we don't need to... Don't need to do any of that. Armor is good. So we're not picking up any of this armor. We're not really modifying it yet. Let's cruise in here. Yeah, Rust Devil Entry Terminal. Look at that. Lookout duty. <laughs> While all these mechanist bots on the loose, we can't afford to skimp on lookouts. For all we know, the bastard is planning a raid to take our take all our bots tomorrow. No lockjaw. That doesn't mean you could set three bots to patrol the area and take a nap. I want at least two living, breathing humans patrolling the perimeter at all times. And let me know immediately if you see any strange bot come up the hill. Ivy. <laughs> Well, they were on lookout, I think. I mean, who knows? Maybe we just woke them all up, but uh, didn't do them any good. Okay, do we... Oh, let's go check out what's in that. Yeah, there we go. That's some good shit. All right, I don't think there's anything else here to scavenge. Okay, into the Rust Devil's Den we go. Or into the... Well, yeah, Rust Devil's Den, but also the Fort Hagen Hangar. Underneath the satellite array. There should be some, just without having played this game before, just thinking rationally, it's like, yeah, Fort Hagen hangar. There should be some really good salvage in here. It's amazing how quickly the sun sets, man. All right, this is looking good. All right. Pretty big room. Got a can, plastic. Take the jet. I thought I saw. I guess not. I thought I saw a uh, light bulb on the floor, but no. Okay. Door we can't go through. Thank goodness you're not setting that trap off, dog meat. Oh my god. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Not mussing around. Take out that legendary Mr. Handy Dominator right away. And let's just start restocking vats. Holy shit. And boom! All right, we got a couple more. Reload. Rebuild our action points here. I think they're off in another room. I don't think any of the enemies are coming by. Good. You're not hurt. Switch. <laughs> you just keep thinking that, buddy. You just keep thinking that. All right, plus one strength and endurance. We will definitely take that. Sweet, let's take a look. Left arm, left arm. Oh, we got an exterminator. Minus 15 damage. Hey, you know what? I'd rather have this. I'd rather have the light fortifying. I'd rather have the strength and endurance. Definitely. That works. Ah, oh, that's what exploded. Let's take a look up here. Bottle cap. We got an ad starting in a minute. But I'm just going to continue going through nice and slow. I don't think there's anything mission critical happening in the next couple of minutes. Ada, I really wish you hadn't just done that, but okay. <laughs> We will have a little bit of a firefight on our hands. That's a fucking robot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's also switch to a frag grenade. We got that. Oh, dark meat was in the way. Let's take a look. Okay, we got that guy. I don't know the angle. Okay. She's got it. Good job, Beta. Draw its fire. Alright. Actually, that was perfect timing. I'm gonna loot while this ad plays. Don't worry, Ada. We're... <laughs> we are pack rats. We're gonna grab everything that's of use. Hell yeah, we're also going to recuperate a fragmentation mine. Ooh, yeah. Let's take a look. Yep, flip lighter. Perfect flask. Let's see. I don't think there's anything particularly valuable, but we're going to look around anyway. Yeah, we'll take the ceramic. Why not? We're definitely picking a lock. Nah. Yes. Now I know an ad's running, but of course it's not telling me what the duration is. I really wish Twitch would be a little more reliable with that stuff. Oh well. Let's see, we got a combination ranch. Let's take that office fan. Let's uh, definitely don't want to take that. There it goes. Okay, ad break ends in thirty seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm, sure, we'll take the coffee cup. Okay. All right, and of course there are multiple ways through this whole place. And yeah, we'll take the quirk for sure. There are a lot of different ways you can kind of go through here. We could have snuck through here and tried to avoid that fight entirely. Short of doing this in reverse. Ah, there we go. We could hop right into this uh, T60 power armor. Um, ever considered Lone Wanderer? Yeah, absolutely. So, Dogmeat does not count as a companion for that perk. So, if you've got Lone Wanderer and you have Dogmeat in the vanilla game, Lone Wanderer kicks in. Um, which is just more reinforcement that they intended you to have Dogmeat all the time and a companion alongside it so that it would logically function if you don't have a companion it's still lone wanderer is still working even though you have your dog with you uh so yeah we'll definitely be taking lone wanderer we're going to be investing in a lot of the charisma perks i'm not super a fan of intimidation just because of how it functions but um i think we kind of have to go with the power armor right here don't we <laughs> i feel like we really should take this power armor that's here. Nice. All right. Yep, and this is where we just were. Perfect. Okay. So now we continue scavenging. <laughs> I don't think there's... Okay, we already grabbed all that stuff. Ooh, we'll definitely take the microscope. Okay. And then let's check out what's up here before we go back in there. Fort Hangar Lockdown Terminal. Ooh, we can hang. We can hack this. Let's go check it out. <sighs> Kiger, give me oh, shit. I guessed wrong. <laughs> you know, there's a way to tab through these to find the easier one. Um, there we go. Get rid of a dud. Um, good. We got rid of a dud, but the problem is we're still kind of... Ooh, there we go. There we go. Got rid of another dud. There we go. Tries reset. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's try. And it's mutual. Okay. It doesn't have anything like that. Uh, there's... Okay, giving, there's one in common. 
So rich. Oh, it could be. Could be that. Okay, it's not that. Oh, I tried fucking ritual already. Shit. That was stupid. Um, could be. Hmm. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so that was also a good demonstration of how the hacking game can work. So yeah, let's do the security guard control here. Let's open this door. All right, and then we just jump over. Ugh. Of course, I gotta actually get into it. Of course, it would help if I could actually, you know, make that jump properly. Ooh, <laughs> yes. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go take a look at what we just got. Yes, minus 50% fall damage. Hell yes. What's that replacing? Left leg. Oh, it's just... Yeah, uh, that's a no-brainer. It's not even replacing a legendary. Yes, we will just do that. I mean, the energy protection isn't nearly as good, but we'll take the acrobat. And one of the nice things about the acrobat is if you have two of them, you're immune to fall damage at that point. Come on. There we go. Oh, we'll take four frag grenades. Okay, it's now now we're up here. Oh, we'll take ten millimeter grenades. Okay, that was it for this. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's cruise over here. Let's go in there and let's load up into this power armor. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Yay, power armor! Of course, now that we're going into our power armor, none of the other armor set armor pieces we have apply. But still, um. Power armor. Hello. <laughs> let's uh, let's have some fun with this. Oh right, I remember why we have this for here. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh boy. This is pretty funny. All the mannequins, and it jangles the moon monkey. And we can't really use a lot of these. We'll pick up that bag of cement. Ooh, we're definitely picking up that light bulb. And we got the mechanist talking shit in the background. So one thing we will do. It is kind of annoying, but... Oh, we don't have a helmet on this. Oh, yeah, we do. We'll unequip the helmet here. So we found the Robo Brain here. What did the Rust Devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me. They're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Maybe I'm just a rust devil wearing a clever disguise. <laughs> Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like a typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% .8 chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I could definitely use the help. I thought you might say something like that. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One. You need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? 
I mean, that first one sounds pretty reasonable to me, but we got a speech deck, so we're going to do that. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. All right, so the second we take Jezebel, something's going going to happen here. So, and of course, the mechanist is talking about us. <laughs> Fuck! I did not think that was going to trigger immediately. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, okay, so that was a stupid plan. I forgot. Shit. 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 Reload. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, Ahab, you bastard. Fine. Kill Cam. Two. Okay, I thought that waited till uh, we picked up that. Good to know. Okay, Seraph, so next time you do this, we'll take that. Oh. Okay, shut that thing up for one thing. Let's pick this lock. <laughs> so next time I do that, that must be one of the reasons I remembered planning a mine right behind Jezebel's head. And now I... And that's clearly why I must have done that. Don't. Oh, we'll take Fuse. And one of the annoying things about Power Armor is some terminals you could use and some of them you can't. The brain won't talk? Make it. Smash the glass... Ooh, excuse me. And stick your hand in it if you have to. The brains are obviously the ones calling the shots. There has to be some signal hidden inside the slimy ball of snot. We could use to lead us to the mechanist. You have until tomorrow. That's when I get someone else to do it. You won't be happy if I get someone else. Just do it. We have the brain now. Just destroy the iBot. I'm sick of hearing those incessant messages about the mechanist. Bring peace to the Commonwealth? What a load of crap. Anyway, I have some ideas of what we can make some sick mods for the thing. I want it to be disassembled by tomorrow. And of course, schematics. Perfect. Alright. Do-do-do-do. Okay, so we've taken care of, uh... <laughs> The hard way, Ahab, a gigantic fucking scary robot. Let's get the hell out of here. This time without uh, completely fucking that up. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you know, I really do need to start making some things here. Let's... Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today. Thank you. Disable all that. Let's move through. It's amazing how I could be stealthy in power armor. <laughs> so if I wanted to, could save here. Uh, or rather, could sleep here. Although if we were playing survival, that's one of the reasons why they keep a bed here. Because you can only save when you sleep. And so after that tough fight with Ahab, it's useful that the bed is here. So you could save after surviving that fight. Assuming you survive. That's part of the uh, the game design aspect of that. Right, I don't see anything here. We don't really need to. Ooh, we'll definitely take the glass. Sure, let's take the enamel bucket. Fuck it. I think we can use this terminal. Yes, we can use this terminal. Thank God. All right, so we're going to eject the holotape automatron oh, from Ivy. Whoever reset the scores, I will find you and I will have your head. <laughs> I think we could all relate to uh, relate to that. 
Alright, so we're gonna eject Automatron. And so Automatron is a, uh, it doubles as a, um, magazine, sort of. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's just a normal Nuka-Cola. Yay, safe. But I think it's also a minigame. One of these days I gotta actually check it out. I always forget to check it out. Same thing as Red Menace. You can play Red Menace too. Got it. Ooh, we will definitely take that Stealth Boy. We will definitely take the Stealth Boy. So we're gonna take the military grade circuit board. Blowtorch. Yeah, the blowtorch is usually not worth the trouble. Okay, we'll take that empty coolant. We'll take the chemistry jar. Okay. Let's also drink. Let's get a drink. You really are. Oh, I interrupted her by look peering around here. Picking oh. up something. Well, that was not good. I didn't realize it was a uh, legendary. That was a nice shot, although that sounded like an Assaultron. That's not good. Okay, luckily it went after Ada. Ow. Yay, level up. Take care of that, and then we'll deal with our level up. Where are you, Ada? Oops. <laughs> you were too late, Ada. I already took it out with a headshot. <laughs> like, in all seriousness, that was a nice shot. That was actually a nice shot to be able to get this guy with a, uh, with a rope, um, with a grenade, to be honest. Not that I'm gonna, you know, totally pat myself on the head or anything. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this one in power armor. We're gonna have to get out. That's one of the reasons why I don't necessarily uh, live in power armor a lot. It's constantly getting out of the power armor to go into a terminal gets old really quick. Where is that terminal? Where is that? There it is. Okay. Let's deal with that little asshole. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, mechanist. Who is this mechanist? His bloody robots are everywhere. Every junkyard, every factory, even that robotics pioneer park. How are we supposed to find parts for our own bots with this loser cutting us off at the pass? It's not like we don't fight back, but geez, we kill a group of his bots and 10 more appear. Does this guy just pump them out at some assembly line somewhere? Finding him is our top priority, because what else are we going to do while he keeps getting our way? We will find him, make a bot from his bones, and force it, <laughs> yeah, force it to take it out of our trash. Irony Park disaster. Routine scrapping mission. So, yeah, they just talk about a uh, location where uh, they were trying to get a horde of Marikanaz bots show up at a, at a park. And now it's going to be ma marked on our map. Uh, and they lost a couple of... They lost a couple of men at the, on that. Ahab, the death call had killed my men. I stuck his skull on a bot. Not just any bot, but the ultimate death bot. Ahab will be on my side when I find the mechanist and get revenge for what he did to the Rust Devils. I just hope we don't pulverize his bones in the process. I want to use it to make something fun. So clearly, uh, Ivy is a little crazy. A little unhinged. She's a little unhinged. Ah, we don't need cram. All right. Good. There's Ada. Pop back in here. And of course, it's nice that when we exit our power armor, we don't have to constantly re-equip everything. Yes, it should, Ada. <laughs> yes, it fucking should. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at our level up here. What are we doing? Ooh, yes, we are going to do more damage with our pistols, for sure. I mean, primarily we do most of our damage with uh, with our pistols, so yes, we will just take these. That works. Take a look. Let's recover Medex and Psycho. We like that. Okay, this is where we came through. Nothing else here. Perfect. All right. Once again, though, we're back under 200 rounds. We'll need to pick up... Um, we'll need to pick up 10 millimeter ammo somewhere again. 
Probably next time we go to Diamond City, we'll uh, swing by Arturo's and buy some ammo. Mm -hmm. One of the cool parts about scaven uh, about disabling those traps is we get fiber optics from them, and fiber optics are super rare. We definitely like we definitely like getting fiber optics. And we'll take the robot repair kit, which is interesting because I don't think Codsworth benefits from the robot repair kit. But again, he was a vanilla companion. But still, once you get Automatron, what it really should do is retroactively uh, have it so that... Oh, I can't do that in power armor. Come on, man. This shit gets old really fast. Let's try and hack this. Wastes. All right, so it's not that. Swords. Is it S? All right, so it's probably S. God damn it. Really? It's... There we go. Dud removed. Thank you. Ugh. Thank you. Get rid of some of these. Perfect. Now we're at least getting better here. Let's see, is it wastes? Could be wastes. I mean, we've removed a bunch of them. Oh, it could be tricks. You know what? It's probably tricks. Although it could be brings too. God damn it. I want you to reset the. Um, removed. It'd be nice if it would... Come on. It'd be nice if it would reset the uh, attempts. That would be better. Anyway, when you hover over it and it highlights a section, that's when you know it will... Uh... Okay, remove another dud. But I wanted to reset the whole attempts. But yeah, you could see why people would just um fucking end up really? That should highlight all that. I guess it's too far apart. Let's try tricks. God damn it. So we went through all that trouble just to have it locked out. Now we gotta wait the ten seconds. But you could see why uh brute forcing it ends up being a viable strategy. Because you could just go in, try three things, exit, come back in, three more seconds. I mean, a lot of times, just playing the minigame can be faster, but most of the time in my experience... Ah, the thing automatically closed. But in my experience, you're usually just better off just brute forcing the fucking thing. It's, it's just it's just fucking faster. Got it. Thank you. Oh, and then that was just a turret. Try to disable the turret control. That was not worth our time. <laughs> so if we had snuck past all that shit, which good luck sneaking past all those robots, um, we could have disabled the turrets from here. God, what a we? Whatever. It was worth. It was worth the XP to get it. We never throw our uh, nose up at XP. Uh, we'll take the military grade duct tape because military grade duct tape is awesome. We'll take that. And so what we're ultimately going to do with a lot of this salvage is we're going to go up to a settlement that's somewhat close by. Anything useful over here? Yes. A pack of duct tape. Fuck yeah. And the plan will be once we... Ooh, Mr. Handy Fuel. Shit yeah. So, okay, now we're just up here. Take that. I don't think there's anything to be had over there, but let's check it out anyway. No, there's there's nothing there. There's just traffic cones. Okay. But one thing we will do is once we're at the very top here, so this is where we actually have to go, but we're going to cross over here in the meantime. We're going to raid this, but we're also... Yep. That's one thing we're going to want. I think that's the only thing we can want actually up here. Yeah, we're just going to go over here. We can loot this, pick up a couple of those. Yeah, it really wasn't anything worth worth getting there. I don't think we can 
No, we can get back up here. Okay, I think maybe this... I thought there was something else up here. I thought there was something else up here, actually. I thought there were, uh, there was a couple of hidden, uh, teddy bears and shit. I might be thinking of a different rooftop. Alright, never mind. Let us proceed. Turn off that light. That definitely gives us away. And we were up over... No, 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 we weren't. I'm Based taking on this. my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. <laughs> Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. Thanks, Jezebel. Okay, I don't see anything here. We'll pick up that TV tray. We will definitely take up the crispy squirrel bits. All right. This is where things get a little interesting. My head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. You know, I can't disagree with that, Jezebel. I cannot disagree with that logic. Okay. Explosives. Fragmine. And we'll do this. And... I don't think she'll make it this far, but. How may I be of service? Um, you know what? Come here, Ada. If you find any spare parts, you be sure and let me know. Uh, Psst. I'd be happy to help if I can. Good. And dog meat. You hey. do the same. No, dog meat. Dog meat. Stay, boy. Stay there. Perfect. Now then. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. What the hell was that? <laughs> and now we just wait. Come on, Ivy. There you go. Oh, that is fucking creepy. <laughs> the fucking Assaultron demon is uh, setting all that shit off. It's dead, though. Well, I didn't count on that. Alright. Didn't count on that. Good. Go fire at that thing. There we go. Now we can get a crit shot on its head. There we go. <laughs> Abusing vats in our favor. There we go. When vats doesn't come through. I would have killed her myself. Oh well. What's up? Come on. Oops. I interrupted uh Jezebel again. <laughs> But yes, yes, Jezebel, and we know. If you only had a body, you would have done the same. Okay, let's see how much of this we can actually pick up. All right, we can't pick up any of that stuff, but at least we picked up some legendary gear. Okay, so that was how we were able to take care of Ivy in a much better fashion. I did not know there was a fucking Assaultron Dominator, though. That's terrifying. And that was very... Very, that was like Terminator, man. It was just crawling after us. <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, those Assaultrons are, uh, they do not fuck around, man. All right, so that was Ivy. Let's see what's in this chest. Salvage Assaultron said, sure. How much do I have weight-wise? Okay, we can still pick up a decent amount of stuff. I'll take a fusion core that was nicely hidden in there. Sure, let's take that lantern and the TV. Oh, man. So, <laughs> yeah, I forgot there was a prisoner in here. So we can get out of here. Let's go check out this other door. Yep. I don't know if there's anything particularly valuable in here, but we never leave any stone unturned. A little bit more. There we are. Oh, fat man. Sure, we'll take 
So again, so I think the way this works, oh, uh, let's go to ammo. Mini nuke. Okay, we have 11 mini nukes. So it's not whether you pick up the weapons, it's whether or not you pick up a weapon that's like on the field, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So now we're gonna put that back in here, but, oh no, we still have 11 mini nukes. Yeah, I don't, I think I picked up a mod that fixes that particular glitch. And just gives you the ammo, so it allows you to just pick up the ammo off the bodies. You don't have to pick up the weapon to get it. But that is vanilla behavior. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Now that I've... And just like that, we are now full circle. Perfect. Barely even used a, the fusion core here. <laughs> so now we have a legitimate option of sticking with the with this particular set of power armor. Could. In my experience, it's harder to sneak around in power armor. And I do like to sneak around a lot. But we certainly have our option. And when, um... Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you <laughs> provide a body that meets my standards. And it looks like we spent the entire day in there. Yeah, we spent the entire day in there, but that's okay. Dog meat found something. All right, you know what? Let's just see what you found. What's up, boy? What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, good job. Yeah, we did miss those chems. Heads up. Yes. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. <laughs> of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. Ah, I see we have an ad running, and I don't want to do plot while we're uh, while we get an ad running. It's going to be over in just a couple of seconds. But uh, yeah, once we're done with this, we will head a little north, and we're going to clear out um, the Sunshine Tidings co-op. There we go. We should be good. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides. Robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. <laughs> That's an understatement. What else do you know about the Meta? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, <laughs> shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. <laughs> I agree. We really don't have time for more mistakes. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. 
Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able <laughs> to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Alright. So now we head... Ooh. I suggest we take as much as we can sure. carry. Alright, so now we're gonna head north. We'll take carrots. Carrot flowers. We can eventually make uh, some pretty nice chems with those. And now that we're in uh, power armor. Ah, Raider radio signal found. Yeah, we're close enough to Nuka World where we're picking up the radio from uh, from Nuka World. We are not doing that just yet. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll still want to get some extra levels before we're ready for that. But we'll get there. Scavenge. I don't see anything else here. Although we do have a little bit of a crash site up here. Let's go check it out. Tank there. Piece of a... Yeah, we'll take that. Sure. Right. Marvelous. Yeah, there's another one. Come on. I think at this point I've got a good stockpile of frag mines. Once we get to Sanctuary, I'll probably reorganize my uh, my inventory here. And I do like going to Sanctuary to take care of Jezebel, because we do end up going to Sanctuary fairly often, just throughout the, na throughout the course of the game. And at least this way I can come and check up on her a little bit. Although I could build Jezebel at a settlement I don't intend to even go to, that way we don't have to deal with her charming personality, shall we say. But yeah, Nuka World is out that way. Uh, I just realized where I am. Okay. We'll take the Yagwai meat, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Yagwai den. Bear found a uh, raider, ate the Brahmin. Really nothing left of anything here. We'll take the Brahmin skull, though. That'll be useful. Yeah, I don't need way wild potato blossom. It's not really useful for anything. I mean, we could eat it, but we can't plant it. So if we were really desperate for food, that would work. Oh, we're back above 200 rounds. Cool. Right, because we picked up some ammo in the uh, Rust Devil's Den. Well, the Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Okay, so we got another location. We'll want to clear this out. But this is ultimately going to be a good settlement to have when we start working on Nuka World. So let's, let's take a look. Yeah, we'll just do a quick save here. Just in case. Why have to do all that work all over again? Good. That's... This guy's dead. And so what I did there is looking at a ghoul, at the dead ghoul. I wasn't sure if it was alive or dead, so I activated Vats. Because if it were alive, Vats would be able to target it. And because Vats didn't target it, Professor Goodfields. Got a rad roach. Yeah. It's yep. awfully quiet. Reminds me of the expression, the calm before the storm. Professor Goodfields. Professor Goodfields is cool, man. Oh. Take care of that guy. Alright. We're just going to clear out this place. Nice and slow. <laughs> Free the robots. <laughs> Unfortunately, Professor Goodfields has a has a tendency to glitch out and just either disappear once you establish this as a settlement. I think that thing's dead. Yep, it's dead. Alright. Alright, sometimes you can tell if they're uh, alive or dead when you just get close to them. It's another trick. So we'll be doing a combination of these things. 
Yeah, we'll take that. That's a cool little uh, improvised latrine. <laughs> Groovy, far out. <laughs> uh, I hope we get to keep that uh, robot here. Uh, it doesn't happen o very often. Yeah, the cooking station. Will Sir, the We've got Just barely. Took a second shot, but we got it. All right. Let's open this up. Sure, we'll just pick up things at this point. It'll save us the trouble of uh, scrapping them. We'll still have to scrap a bunch of this stuff, but... Oh, well. Okay, I don't see anything over here. But let's at least go into this cooler... Yeah, sure. We'll grab both of those things. All right. No ghoul in here. Just an outhouse. Good. But we will take the bobby pins. Next house. Dog meat. Get out of the way, buddy. Thank you. We'll pick this lock. Kill the ghoul inside. That bobby pin was just about to break. Got it. Oh, there's no... Uh, no ghoul in here. Fair enough. We'll pick up the rat X. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, clearly somebody with a medical background was in here. Okay, we're definitely taking that broken lamp. Oh, fuck. Here, I can't hear it. Shit. <sighs> yeah, we'll keep that. Ada. Yes. Trade. Oh, yeah, those were some heavy items. But as you can see, she just can carry so much shit. <laughs> Problem is we're going to have to pick this stuff back up later. All right, Ada finally can't carry anymore. That'll take care of the rest of this. And we do need to clear it before we can actually start building here. Come on, guys, get out of the way. Far out. <laughs> and we'll cruise over here. <laughs> it is funny how the companions will also chime in when you're like exposed or they think you're in a in a very um, vulnerable position I don't think there's anything over there yeah. that light is woefully inadequate Strange. My are barely up any noise. there we are yeah that's not what I wanted but whatever now we'll pick up the magazine, which is right here. Perfect. Wasteland Survival Guide. Now this one's awesome. So anytime we now make, like for example, if we have Brahmin meat and we make it and we get um, like a Brahmin steak or a rib, I think Brahmin meat makes you a ribeye steak, you'll get two ribeye steak. It's awesome. Definitely way more uh, efficient. Okay, perfect. So now that we've got all this shit, now this place should be cleared. Ada, get out of the way. Let's check. Yep, we've cleared it. Cool. And now we cruise over here. Go over to the workshop. And I guess I have to decide whether or not to leave the power armor here or not. But I think what I'll do is I'll take the power armor and we'll put it uh we'll put it over here. Hey Ada. Good. Take all. Yep. <laughs> My audio receptors are barely picking up any no Perfect. Store all junk? Okay, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, guai meat. Oops, what did I just... Oh, good. Okay, I didn't store anything that I didn't want to store. Thought I stored something by accident. Oh, yeah, the blamo mac and cheese can go there. Sure, we could put the Nuka-Cola Quantum in there. We'll keep the Nuka Cherries for now. Is there anything else? Yep. Yeah. The mods. Put all those mods in there. Perfect. Okay. We still have a bunch of things we don't necessarily need. Uh, yeah, let's put the checkered shirt and slacks in there. Okay. This is all fine. Good deal. Now, I guess the question is, you know, I never noticed those doors could open like that. I guess it's been a while. 
So the only thing we will do, I'm just going to scrap a couple of these. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but yeah, we'll, we'll scrap the potato blossom because we can't farm it anyway. It's just in the way. <laughs> oh man, I hope, I hope Professor Goodfield sticks around. Usually glitches out. But I did install a bunch of mods that fix a bunch of things. So there's some there's a good chance he'll stick around. Right. Um yeah, let's make some room in here. We'll also get some wood for our trouble. Okay, this way if I need to build something like a ladder or uh or my little improvised little wooden towers. I can. Okay. So now let's cruise over to the cafeteria because that's usually where... Because a cafeteria ultimately is not a good structure to put beds in. So I'll put things like generators, things that make noise that settlers don't like to hear. So I'll put a power generator over there and that is the perfect place for our radio beacon. And we'll set that up now. And there are enough beds here or we won't have to really mess with this for a little while. So this will be good. Okay. Please tell me we have enough. Good. All right. So we got enough for a radio beacon. We'll put that. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. We'll put the radio beacon right there. Put a generator. Ooh, we can actually build a pretty big generator. Sweet. All right. Cool. We must have gotten a lot of salvage from... Uh, Perfect. Oh, we got some bottle caps. Wonder wonder why we made money off that. I'm guessing uh, Preston was going to ask us to come here and settle this. So cool. We just didn't talk to him to actually spawn the quest yet, but clearly he wanted us to do this. So back up to Sanctuary we go. Okay, now we have to deal with this fucking bridge. Let's see who's over here. What do we got? Gunners. I'd suggest you stop doing that before you hurt some. We may have some trouble. Shh. Fuck. Bastard must have been out of range. He was in range that time. <laughs> Come on, guys. One. We may have an enemy nearby. Headshot! <laughs> yeah, you don't have anything useful. I'll take the mountain. I don't really need a laser pistol. We've already got you. Based on where they were. Now, what, are, what I like to do a lot of times is I'll start to cross a bridge. Because what they were probably going to do is try to extort me. Uh, like, have me pay caps to cross the bridge. But based on where I was approaching them, I was probably just going to pull aggro as I got closer to them anyway. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. If I can't uh, get some XP with speech checks, it doesn't make sense to really try to uh, to do that. Because what I'll do is I'll go up there, do speech checks, get the XP for the speech check to negotiate them down in price. Tell them to fuck off anyway. And, <laughs> and at that point, we just have fun. Uh, and then we have a fight where I get the XP for killing them. But, um, and sometimes they'll just be like, yeah, whatever, just go. And then it's like, okay, you guys get to live. But a lot of times I can, I can at least get some XP to negotiate them down a little bit. But in a case like that, I was going to get too close to them. It was, there was no chance of that. Very sad. We got a couple of cars moving. Okay, it's just a provisioner. The only problem is when you're in power armor, and if you run, you're going to drain the power core. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not running right now. But that's another good reason why once we get to Sanctuary, I will be um, leaving the power armor there. But it'll be nice to have this set. Number one, it's nice to have another set anyway. Hey. Oh, nice. Hey, guys. Yes. just in case we have a tough fight that we want to deal with. 
we can go get some power armor and have to uh, and be better equipped for a very tough fight. We're just following the road here. Raiders have been kind of showing back up here, but I don't see any. That's good. All right, perfect. I can reholster this. We'll head back to Sanctuary. We're almost there. And then we'll build Jezebel a body. Actually, we'll probably sleep and then build Jezebel a body. What the hell is that? Okay. Just, just normal game world sounds. <laughs> Can you guys not walk into me? That'd be great. Uh, do we want to go into that room? building and see if there's anything in there. Yeah, let's just check it out real quick. Nope, nothing new in there. But couldn't hurt to check it out real quick. A lot of times, new stuff will just show up in that building. And it's not like it was all that long to just take a look at it really, really fast. Oh, man. The night sky looks so beautiful at night. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of when we had a, uh, a hurricane come through, because obviously I'm in South Florida, and we didn't have power for like a good two weeks, and without all that light pollution, you could just see so much more of the night sky. <laughs> it really is a spectacle to behold. I totally understand why people do go into the middle of nowhere, like to camp and all that, just to see it. All right, we're almost there. Everybody else is asleep at this point by the time we've gotten back. <laughs> at some point, we'll also start to rewire everything for electricity. Because I think that is one of the things you would do when you're rebuilding society. One of the first things you would want to do, well, the very first thing you would want to do is... Oh, right, Vault Tech Rep. First things first, though. We're going to... Wait, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, we didn't grab anything. Good. Uh, we'll put the melon down there, though, and that. Perfect. Now let's go over here. Purified water. Yep. Purified water. Take all that. Hey, it's Carla. Huh? Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Let's see what you've got. Here's yep. what I got. We're selling, just like we've always done, we're selling purified water. Yep. We're going to make a... Uh, we're just going to make a nice 200, cool 200 caps of this deal. And it's about what she has anyway. Although the more of those we get... Actually, Apparently Preston. the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over uh, there. Better go see what's going on. Damn it. What I should I have done is check the radio. Me too and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. Place to call their own. They'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime... Make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. We get some XP for that. Remember that settlement that was asking for help? All safe and sound again. Cashing in some of these. This is how we're going to take back the Commonwealth. One small victory at a time. All right. So we took care of all the raiders at Oberlin Station. There we go. Slowly but surely, we're getting all this taken care of. We've got a nice little uh, power armor selection starting to grow here. And we'll get out of that. Take out the fusion core. So one of the reasons why I always take out the fusion core in these is if you leave a fusion core in them, your settlers or anybody else can just hop in there and then it's really difficult to get them out of the power armor. You either have to wait till the time where they're asleep and then they'll come out of it. Anyway. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. I'd like to trade some items. All right, we don't need to worry about I that. I gave up alcohol after settling down here. The doctor said I shot my liver. <laughs> but good, you made it. You came to visit. I, I almost thought you wouldn't. Hey, now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you like a job? A job? <laughs> For me? Really? Yeah. What do you <laughs> Just say? Just make sure it goes better than your last job. Work for me? What 
are you doing? Yanking my chain again? Up, oh, shit. Hi. You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Whoops. Alright. But I should be able to now. Oh, shit. Did I. Ugh. Oh. <clears throat> they didn't tell me much. Fuck. All tech. Just to make sure everyone. Oh, out shit. Their I, I didn't mean. I should have assigned him to Sanctuary. Shit. Did I. F oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I want to be able to assign you that later. Fuck. All right. I may have fucked up there, and god damn it. It's been a while since I fucking saved. Oh, now you autosave. Thanks. 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 Thanks, game. I so appreciate that. Yeah, god damn it. I really don't want to do that journey again. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh, I exited out of it too fast. I meant to assign him to Sanctuary so that he was a settler here. Oh, fuck. There's probably a console command I could do. Yeah, he's just going to talk to me now. And your skin's as smooth as a baby. But maybe if I come back, it'll sort itself out. Yeah, I can't select him. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. Oh. And he's a legendary fucking um, traitor, too. Uh. All right, let me think about whether or not it makes sense to just redo all that so we can get the vault tech rep properly. It might make sense to do that because <sighs> Yeah, let me get in let me get a new soda real quick. Let me in, in time I go downstairs and come back, I'll figure out whether or not it makes sense to just load the game and just redo that. Um I mean there might be a console command to fix that, but yeah, long story short, Seraph's an idiot and I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> hey cat! What you doing? I can't believe I did that. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I did that. That was so, so stupid. Okay, so... I guess the question here now is, do I just live without it? Or do I come back and hope it f sorts itself out later? Maybe if I come back uh, and the cell resets, things will be alright. Maybe. Uh, or do I reload? No, let's just, let's go with it. Because worst case scenario, I could always fix it with a console command later. I'm not going to bog, I'm not going to bog stream down with that. Hopefully, hopefully I can fix it. Hopefully I can fix it. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, what am I doing? Uh, alright, so let's, let's at least take care of this. Yes, we'll take out the quick draw. Because that's a minus 25 vats cost. Ugh, Starlight Drive-In's under attack. Fine. Fuck. Hi, cat. I love you too, cat. Yeah, I know. Let's scrap that. Alright, Savage to Sultron head. Alright, so we... We need to deal with Starlight Drive-In. We're going to need to go to Green Top Nursery. Yeah. And of course, the old axiom, Thou shall be distracted by bullshit, is kicking in now. Hi, cat. Okay, you want water? Oh, it would help if I put the game stream back on, wouldn't it? In game. We haven't done anything all that important yet, but anyway. <laughs> Hi, kitty kitty. Hello. Hi, Cleo. My, my co-host has joined us. 
She's a good girl. What you doing, cat? Hanging out with me? I love you. Okay, well, if you don't want that water, I'm putting it back over there. Hello, kitty kitty. I know. Good girl. All right, so let's put the salvage assault run head in there. We'll put the Tesla rifle in there. Oh, now you want the water. Now that I've kind of set it aside. Of course you do. Uh, I can't put that in there. We're going to put those in. Okay, so this we will put in there. Okay, because those are super heavy. Uh, the quick draw will keep on me. These we don't need to worry about. Okay. Let's bring this over here. Yes, we don't need that many Nuka Cherries. We can just put those in there. That's fine. <sighs> Do I want to put some of those chems in there? No, let's leave the chems alone. We'll cruise over here. We'll put these in here. And I really hope that other thing takes care of itself. Oh, yeah, we've got these. I think at this point we could just break those down and get the legendary component of them. We're not going to need them anymore. That is one of the nice things about that mod, is at least it gives you a reason to pick up uh, legendary pieces that you don't necessarily need, as opposed to just comp just constantly collecting a whole bunch of things that you can't ever use or need. Because in the uh, vanilla game, you can't even like scrap them. Hi, hi. What? What, Cleo? What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? You're good? You're good? Hi. I love you, cat. What are you doing? Are you being a brat? You're being a brat. <laughs> she is being a brat. What am I doing? Uh, I totally lost track of what I was doing. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, right. The armor bench. Let's go in here. And let's break that down. We don't need those anymore. Perfect. Okay. And let's store all of those. Or keep that. And yeah, we'll keep the legendary microchips on us. We should be good there. Let's take a quick look. Sorry, it's just a, part of the game is inventory management. Oh, that was perfect. We added perfect timing. And welcome back, everybody. We're just doing some logistics here. It's part of the game is inventory management. But yeah, Overland Overland Station worries me a little bit, for sure. Uh, yeah, let's just put any kind of extra explosives in here. I don't think we need that many Molotov cocktails. Actually, we don't even need... I don't think we need those. Let's put two in here. Because we'll, we'll, be, we'll be picking up tons of frag grenades. How many... How many stealth boys do we got? Yeah, we don't need that many stealth boys either. I kind of tend to forget I get them. Perfect. Okay, so we need to build Jezebel. We need to do a couple things now. Let's let's try and get organized here. We've got to respond to Starlight Drive-In. Granted, that's not going to be that time sensitive. We have a week in-game time to do that. And we do still have to go to Oberlin Station. So, and of course we got old guns. Um, yeah, that would have been the advantage of loading the game to fix, um, the vault tech rep. Uh, because if you listen to the radio in between that, uh, <laughs> Ronnie Shaw will show up on the radio and tell you that you need to show up to the castle. It's kind of neat. It, uh, it tends to be overlooked a lot because, um, you know, how often you're listening to, um, Radio Freedom in between the time you talk to Preston to cash in a quest. But uh, it would have been nice to have done that. I just forgot to check the radio before heading up here for that purpose. Anyway. All right. Let's build Jezebel a body. Let's just do it. Not not my best, <laughs> not my best work, but that's okay. So we're going to put Jezebel's head on here. And uh, is there anything else we want to do for her? Let's give her a laser. Why not? Let's try and give her... Yeah, we'll give her a Protectron and laser. That'll do. I don't think there's anything else we could really do for her here. And we'll give her a Mr. Handy Thruster. Why not? Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned. 
but it will have to suffice. Hmm. That'll teach me to kind of be drinking you. Why we do this? What kind of a body were you expecting? Hey, freak bot! Greetings! Welcome, raiders! Anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. <laughs> Gotta love where, where a raid shows up while a robot's making fun of uh, my diminished intelligence. How is everyone? Uh, greetings. How is the rest of uh, New Vegas? Let's do a shout out here while we do that. Oh, never mind. Ghosty's on it. As always. <laughs> Why, thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. My mods are awesome. Greetings, Rob. Cheers. <laughs> we finally hit that ranger station I've been trying to get to for like two streams. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. So we cleared out the uh, Rust Devils. Um den over in the Fort Hagen satellite array and uh greetings operator mudhorn clan welcome to the stream feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content we're friendly here <laughs> we're pl and if you came for freak Bud stream we're playing more fallout well, in my case I'm playing fallout 4 we're in the middle of the automatron dlc and the legion is back to sending its assets after me <laughs> well that didn't take very long now did it <laughs> Oh, they got the platinum chip? Uh, let's stop sending assassins after him. Sorry, curry favor. Uh, <laughs> Freakbot keeps killing our legionnaires. Fine. <laughs> Double down. We're going to kill him and take the platinum chip off his cold, dead body. <laughs> but no, the legion sucks. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, uh, we rescued a robo brain from the uh, Rust Devil's Den. And her... Two requirements was get the hell, get me the hell away from these lunatics as quickly as possible and build me a body. And so we just finished building her body and we're, and you know, she's spent her first instinct upon regaining mobility was to, uh, question my questionable intelligence apparently. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. And so, uh, yeah, we're playing Fallout 4 with mods. Um, my mod list is lore-friendly, but we've got, like, I think either, uh, I think 161 mods on this particular playthrough, some quality of life things, uh, graphical improvements, things of that nature. You aren't stuck here. You could leave if you wanted. You've created an interesting stalemate between us. Something I didn't expect you to be capable of. I'm impressed. It's been a long time since I've been outsmarted. Why don't you go ahead and ask me your questions? <laughs> Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. <laughs> so also did a bunch of caravan missions and you're somehow not swimming in caps? That's kind of surprising. Got close to 4,000 at... So I'm, or, oh, you're now swimming. Okay. That makes more sense. I'm like, wait, 4,000 sounds like a lot. Okay. <laughs> that makes much more sense. Yeah. That'll, that'll happen. That'll happen. <laughs> so yeah. Helping the Commonwealth. Helping the people of the Commonwealth. You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth by my calculations. The easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities 
only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. So I'm using Mod Organizer 2 instead of Vortex. I've used Vortex in the past, but for this particular playthrough, I went with uh, I went with Mod Organizer 2. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the Mechanist facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. <laughs> Gotta love Jezebel. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad, uh, operator. Welcome. Beta, I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Or do you prefer Mudhorn? Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Yep, so we're going to do this. We'll modify Ada here. Special modifications. Yep, MSAT. And we do have enough materials for it, thank goodness. And now we know... <laughs> Alright, now we just need to access the Mechanist's Lair. But of course we have to do a couple of things. <sighs> okay. Hey, buddy. You know what? Since Shit. We talk, I'm feeling swell. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix Look that later. Here in <laughs> uh, I hope I don't regret that later. Got to study for my MSATs, yeah, right? <laughs> so let's... Now we can run now that we're not in the power armor and it's not going to suck away uh, energy from us. Oh, we should probably make... Oh, we don't need to be checking out ammo. Actually, real quick, let's let's do a squirry, crispy squirrel bit. Let's also take care of some rat away really fast. Really, really, really fast. Let's make some, make a couple of meals here. Yeah, we'll make a blood bud steak. Uh, mutt chops tend to be okay. Yes! Let's make two of those. Should be good. And Yagwai ribs. Fuck yeah. Okay. Now we have plenty of food. And we'll pick up... We tend to pick up a bunch of purified water. Fortunately, my endurance stat is still pretty poor. I'll have to upgrade that at some point so we can run a little bit more. So we need to go to Starlight Drive-In because they're under attack. And then what we'll do is we'll head east to Greentop Nursery, see what ghoul problem they're having. 
because that's actually kind of on the way to the Mechanist Slayer anyway. Since it's on the way, we may as well do it. And hopefully we don't run into a time... Um, a time limit on that. I don't think the ghoul problem quests have uh, are timed. I know the kidnapping quests are timed, but I don't think the ghoul problem quests are timed. Hell, I don't even know if the raider quests are necessarily timed. No raiders here. Good. Just kind of... Thought there was a raider there for a second. Oh, there is a raider. Does he have a friend? <laughs> nope. Okay. Thank you. We'll take that. Okay. Now let's switch to the Magnum Autoloader. Because I think we're probably going to need this. Let's see what problem they've got. So for this particular, uh, for the particular roleplay involved here, we're a lawyer. We were a pre-war lawyer. Went into a cry revolt. Oh, and there's... I think that's the sound of them fighting. No, that, that sounds up there. Nope, it is it is our settlement that's under attack. Shh, fucking assholes. Oh, rust devils. Shit. I mean, in a way, this makes sense. <laughs> we just raided their headquarters. Of course they would come back and try and take out ours. Enough of that. Where are the rest of them? Holy shit. Man, they really they're really coming. Take out this Mr. Handy Wrecker here. All right. Oof. Excuse me. You showed up just in the nick of time. I hate raiders. <laughs> I kill them every chance I get. I'm glad you're on our side. Anyway, we appreciate the help. So now let's raid these fuckers. Um, scavenge. And we'll take shotgun shells. Fusion cores? Hell yeah, thank you. We'll take ammo. Looks like a couple of those need to be repaired. Now these, if I just leave, they will repair themselves. But, no reason to wait. We'll, uh... We'll repair them ourselves. Got a couple more bodies over here. Let's loot these. I mean, I could actually... Well, no, I can't. We don't really... We only have the one workshop there. Okay. That doesn't need to be repaired. Good. Those are still working. Perfect. Okay. Let's cruise up here. Repair that. Jeez. Yeah, those rust devils really messed us up, man. Fortunately, these are still working. All right, so we got those back up and running. Okay. But yeah, it does totally make sense that they would come here and try to attack us here. Because now, uh... <laughs> but yeah, here's our, here's our headquarters for our burgeoning, uh... Minutemen, although now that we've liberated the castle, we'll be turning the castle into a proper headquarters very shortly. Ooh, we need to build more beds soon. Uh, but we won't do that just... Oh my god, we got more? What the hell else is stupid enough to come over here? Stupid-ass super mutants. <laughs> Oof. 
Okay. All right, well, now that we've successfully defended our uh, our base here... Oh, good. We've got a settler over here. So, good. Well, the next time we happen to go over to Sunshine Tidings Co-op, we'll set that person as a provisioner and we'll send him up to Abernathy Farm. But for now, what we need to do is head over to Greentop Nursery. So, yeah, we're just going to follow the road and head east. Here, let's pick up the stingwing meat. We can make something out of that. Okay, so yeah, now we have to kind of go across into new terrain. We're going to have to make our way over there. And of course, the wasteland is just a dangerous place by nature. Yeah, I'd really rather not go too close to that radioactive thing. Yeah, let's clear this location. <laughs> the rotten landfill. Sure. See if I can hit. I don't think I should have just run. Oh shit. <laughs> there we go, kill cam. We'll get our crit meter up. There we go. Oops, I shot dog meat by accident. Fuck. Okay, one more. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. No, it's dead. <laughs> Alright, that should take care of all that. Hi. Hey there. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, we'll take the bottle caps. We'll take the leather. Radiated blood. Let's cruise up that chest and we'll see if there's any other nuclear material. A lot of times the glowing mole rats, they'll have nuclear, like just like that, nuclear material. Nuclear material is pretty rare and really useful, especially for a bunch of uh, weapon mods. That's not really what I wanted. That's all right. And we're going to need leather for uh, some cool stuff we're going to be building in a little while. Yep, yeah, take that. Oh, you little bastards. Let's take them out. Ah, I managed to lose it, miss it like three times. <laughs> nice job, Seraph. Okay. Now then. Sure, we'll take buff out. Well, that was a nice steamer trunk. Badass. Cool. Okay. <sighs> yep, let's go to that cemetery. Next location. <laughs> As we make our way over more and more. Is that a provisioner? Yep, he's one of our provisioners. Uh, that must be... Minutemen, perfect, good. I like seeing my my faction beginning to continue to grow. Of course, that's uh, you and what army. Now then, this fucking cemetery. Okay. I do not see what I kind of expected to see here. That's, oh, what are you guys fighting? Looks like you've got it under control. Cool. All right, then. Fine. Let's go and advance into the cemetery, and we'll grab the magazine that's in here. <laughs> mod configuration menu will not show up in-game no matter what I tried. Uh, mod my organizer 2 and Vortex. Eh, interesting. Uh, so I think I've got mod, uh, mod configuration menu installed on mine. Um, that is different. I think. So now we, now we can have... Uh, hack turrets. Now we'll cruise over here. I'm trying to think. Um, mod configuration menu. I mean, I. 
think that's this, right? Yeah, this is mod configuration menu. This is this is the mod you're talking about, right? This one's not the uh, this one's the one that's not showing up. Um, and you you've used both mod managers for that. A uh, good question. I've never had this not work. Uh, if you message me on Discord, I could probably try to help you troubleshoot that. Um, I could probably try and help you troubleshoot that. Um, I've never encountered that particular problem, so I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, a lot of issues I generally... It, it, you'd be amazed how many times... Why is this glowing? Is that glowing fungus? Okay, good. That's glowing fungus. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of issues. I've, I've played this game a bunch. And uh, usually I'll have just run into a problem before. And I could just be like, oh, you do A, B, or C, and that'll usually take care of that. And that particular issue you've got, I, I've not encountered. Sorry. Um, we'll deal with this. Come on, cruising here. Right about now. Come on. Where's the raider? All right, fine. We'll just take the row of bones. The there we go. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even hit the damn guy. There should be one more. But yeah, that raider always shows up there. Yeah, I'm wondering why that wouldn't show up. It is convenient. So it's nice to have. Yeah, these are going to be good later on. Much later, but still. So let's go check out that building. There should be a raider over there. And then we can proceed easterly as we approach Greentop Nursery. Oh, good. There's no uh, no raider in here. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take another frag grenade. Why not? Come on. Out. Uh, do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Perfect. Mohaha. <laughs> Why, certainly. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got a couple of possibilities here. So we do need to go over to Green Top Nursery. Let's continue. This is Malden up here. Now, we also uh, wandered by uh, when Dance told us about another... Uh, patrol, another recon team that had come through the Commonwealth, he did mention to go check out Malden first. Uh, and that, that was their insertion point. So we may find traces of that recon team as we go through Malden here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't think that sentry bot would turn on. Well, that's super lame. Good, yep, you keep firing at it. Yeah, I was really hoping you wouldn't turn towards me there, buddy. Fuck. Oh, yeah, because, you know, I need more of this shit. Shit, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Fucking sentry bot. It was friendly. I didn't think we were... I didn't think that would happen. Fuck. That was super lame. So that did not go according to plan. How much progress did we fucking lose? Okay, not that much progress, thankfully. <sighs> Alright. We're not gonna bother with the raiders. Let's just... Let's just continue going east. This time, we're going to get the jump on that fucking... We're going to get the jump on that fucking uh, sentry bot. Fuck that bastard. Let's try this again. This time, without the oops. <laughs> yeah, I was really not expecting... Uh, I wasn't expecting a sentry bot there. But I wonder if this is always here. 
Yeah, that sentry bot is always here. Okay, cool. So, now that we know it's here, So set up a pulse grenade. We're definitely doing this. Wait, why did why did my grenades go off? Oh, come on. That is That's bullshit! <laughs> that's bullshit! Fine. First things first, let's deal with the machine gun turret. Oh, really? Really, rad scorpions? Are you serious right now? Fuck you, rad scorpion. That's what threw off the fucking mine. A rad scorpion showed up. Come on. Come on, fusion core, show. It's right there. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. Let's do it. Even 1% would be enough. Fine. Whatever. We got it that time. <laughs> We're going to play look point mod. Um, I don't know what that mod is. All right. Now let's see what the fuck was worth it in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Was What the hell was in here? Jeez, man. That was nuts. That was nuts. All right. We'll take the cap stash. My goodness. You all right there, Ada? Oh my goodness. Man, Ada, you uh you don't look so good, Ada. <laughs> oh man. It's looking great. Okay. Let's uh let's save. <laughs> Going to play look point mod. Yeah, I don't know what that mod is. Granted, you got granted they're they're on a break at the moment. There we go. Now that you guys are back. Um, oh, fuck. Right. Fuck this super mutant. And all them. <laughs> cool. We just took out all the super mutants. Did you hear that? Cool. Okay. All the super mutants are dead. So uh, I'm assuming that means am I going to play look point mod? But yeah, I'm not familiar with what that po uh, what what look point mod is. Um, yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. And just like that. Now, once we gain more levels, I'll feel more comfortable with, um, trying to actually, it's remake of DLC from Fallout 3. Oh, gotcha. Um, if I do, it will be after the playthrough is over. Um, because I am thinking about doing some rather large quest DLC mods later. Hostile sensor reading detected. I knew you wouldn't be able to. Off. That was a nice shot, actually. <laughs> All things considered. Good job. Don't worry, there's gonna be another one. Okay, good. Jared took care of it. Yeah, we'll take the synth component. Yeah, there are a couple of mods that are, uh, that it could be interesting to think about. Uh, so that's a, that's a possibility. Um, although most likely what I'll do is, uh, stick to things that would be, uh, much more, um, like stick around here. Uh, cause yeah, I know there's, uh, there are a couple of export, export mods from things that have, um, uh, come from other games that have been uh, kind of exported to Fallout 4. Okay, we'll want to explore that. Sure, we'll take the toy rocket ship. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go up this way. Okay, now, now I, I didn't need the reminder, though. I totally forgot that uh, somebody had, had done that. <laughs> All right, so, but there's no reason to explore that. I just wanted to go close enough to, to discover the location. We will eventually come to this building for McCready's uh, quest. I just want 
Oh, and there's the distress signal. Yeah. Place crawling with ghouls. Get that one. You missed, asshole. Wow. Okay. Damn it. Nice job, guys. Teamwork for the win. <laughs> okay. But yeah, since we're here... Let's also explore that radio beacon. I don't think there's anything of particular interest over here. We got a settler. We'll take the tarberry. Yeah, we'll take the plastic spoon. Why not? Ooh, did I forget? Hey. I did. We got to give you a teddy bear back. There we go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> I forgot I took uh, I took Dogmeat's uh, teddy bear away. Because Dogmeat will play with a teddy bear if you give it to him. Alright, but yeah, since we're here, let's do it. Since we're doing since we're here anyway. And the idea is if you're going in the right direction, it'll tell you. Well, <laughs> look at this. Holy shit. Okay. At this point, we know where we went. I'll level up in a second. We'll see what we've got. We got a battlefield holotape. So we'll want to listen to that. Uh, yeah, we'll take the knight uniform. That'll be useful later. Now the distress pulsar is disabled. Yeah, we'll take plasma grenades. Hell yeah, we will. It's fused solid. There, uh, yes, there is. This one, too. Well, what happened here? Hmm. <laughs> and granted, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil what's involved, uh, uh, in that vault, but yeah, there is there is a vault underneath that school. We'll take care of it at some point, but right now we've got to deal with um, Green Top Nursery, uh, Night Forums Battle Tape, Battlefield Hall Tape. There it is. So we have our lead. Let's level up. Uh, let's see. We're not going to do that. We learned our lesson last time. We can't level up that yet. We might want to uh, level up agility to get to ninja next. I think that might be a good plan. Uh, although we could start doing inspirational. But yeah, let's, let's start working our way up to ninja here. We're going to need that. Charisma. Oh, we could also max out Charisma. Maybe we should just max out Charisma while we're at it. <sighs> yeah, let's max out Charisma. And then we'll deal with everything else. So now we can report back to Paladin Dance at some point. But let's continue to head east. We're not going to do the National Guard Training Yard. We do want to go up this way. Right, we're going the right way. Yep, we need to head to Green Top Nursery. So I, if there's ghouls, I wonder which location they're going to send us to. Let's 
Now, the slug is right next door, but again, I don't want to get too bogged down with everything because like any other Fallout game, you can... Uh, <laughs> there are just an infinite number of side quests. You can uh, f get to... Look at that. Dead glowing one. These two managed to kill each other. Because the one area that's up there... Oh, excellent. Good job, Ada. Get the hub flower. Let's see what these guys need. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, Lucas, I'm guessing, is here. Yep, there's good old Lucas. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for giving us this opportunity. Some good caps to be made protecting folk. <clears throat> Best way to spend your caps is protecting your hide with my armor. This guy's cool. That advice is free. I'll take a look. Sure. You got plenty of stock. Take your pick. He's mostly an armor, but he does have what uh, one of the nice things that he does have. Well, agility and perception would be nice, but uh, that's really expensive. But he's got ballistic fiber, which is amazing that he sells ballistic fiber. We don't need to worry about that now. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> You're with the Minutemen, right? Damn straight. The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls has holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. Ah, oh, okay, it's, they're going to send me to the National Guard training ground anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. All right, so that's actually pretty close by. We could do that now, but let's see. Um, I would really, I don't think we're, I don't think it's going to be too sensitive here. So that should be fine. We can take our time with that. We'll, we'll deal with the mechanist and then we'll come back. So let's try and get south now. The idea here is we're going to try to get past Malden. We don't need to go to the training yard. That's a sneeze. Oh, Seraph is going to sneeze. <laughs> that was a doozy. Uh, sure, let's... Nah, I don't want to go... No. Rad Scorpions tend to be around that radio tower, and I'd really rather not get into another fight with Rad Scorpions. We don't need Wild Melon Blossom. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting turned around here. It's like, wait, what's... <laughs> Wait, where am I going? No, I don't want to go there at all. Okay. Let's try this again, this time without the... Oops. Oh, I'll take the flask. Alright, fine. Since we're getting this close to it anyway. Uh, where are the fucking rad scorpions? I hate these fucking things. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes. I knew it. Fucking bastard. Uh, it's right in front of you, Ada. <laughs> That's alright. That worked out beautifully. It attacked her. Let me just shoot it in its tail. Done. Gotta love all the radios around. Yep, stay on them. And that'll reveal a distress signal that we are probably gonna just gonna ignore for the moment. It's usually what the satellites, uh, extending up those satellites do. Yep, there's the separated family radio. I know exactly where that's gonna send us. <laughs> We're going nowhere near that fucking place right now. Oh, look at that. Nuclear power plants. 
and they look fucked up, so we should probably keep our distance from them. Nothing over there. That tends to be a nice, uh, that tends to be a fucking magnet of trouble. Yeah, we'll take the two bobby pins. Uh, we're quite as close. Let's just detect the location. Plus, if I do want to fast travel up here, it'll be a good fast travel point. Ah, uh, I went too fucking close to it. Damn it. I was just talking about how it's clearly radioactive. Then, like an idiot, walked right over to it. That's it. Uh, we need to go down this road anyway. Hey, Doc Weathers! That means idiot should be around here. Wait, where's... No. I don't see where his caravanners are. Oh, well, whatever. Fine. He's another merchant. So we got a bunch of wandering merchants that wander around. He's a, a wandering doctor. Actually, I should have had him cure my rads. Yeah, fuck it. I've got enough rad away. Yep, perfect. Done. Done. <laughs> so I gather, uh, Mudhorn, you've played uh, Fallout 4 before. <laughs> Since you're pretty familiar with modding and uh, and the game in general, it seems. We'll scavenge that later. These are two buildings that are fantastic for salvage. There's usually oil and all sorts of really cool materials in there. We can detect this location. These dot Boston Prep School. I love just getting XP just for exploring the map. A plane that just crashed into the fucking building. As we get closer to, uh, closer to the, uh, airport here. Now, I don't think, I wonder if they call it Logan here. Here's the airport. Oh, as it warps in here. May as well check out the airport. Yep. There's Boston Airport. That'll be the sign there. Yeah, a bunch of planes crashed around here. The EMPs that kind of went off. Uh, it's just called Boston International Airport here. Instead of Logan. Obviously, in real life, it's Logan. <laughs> this place is going to look a little different later in the game. But for right now, it's pretty interesting. Alright, man. This whole area is just kind of flooded and shitty. Right. Who's over here? Robco Sales and Service Center. All right. We've arrived at the mechanist lair. And now time to clear it out. And we're going to clear it out in a slightly different way. So typically, the way to do it would be guns blazing. Kill everything. Get to the mechanist. And then have your final conflict. We will be doing a certain amount of killing, but... There is a uh, different way to approach the mechanist. Uh, there's an alternate way to do that, and we're going to be doing the alternate route here. Once it eventually loads, it will eventually load. <laughs> Oof. Ah, there we go. We can hear the music now. ha. <laughs> That awkward silence as you're like waiting for a load screen here. I don't remember it taking this long, but every so often you'll encounter a load screen that just, for whatever reason, takes a while. You just wait it out. Okay, there's nothing to worry about in here, so we don't need to be stealthy. Let's just kind of look around. And I'm debating on whether or not to salvage or just kind of wander our way through. Uh, but yeah, I probably should just pick things up now. Just just to do it so we don't have to do it later. Oops. A little bit. There we go. That's it. And I could do mods that will make this lock picking easier, but I figured, nah, I ought to just stick with it. 
not dog meat. Do not dog. Don't. Hey. Oh, you bastard. Thankfully, you don't trip those anymore. <sighs> Thankfully, I have the perk that stops him from uh, tripping those. I remembered as he walked by it. I'm like, oh, good. I don't have to worry about that anyway. Hey, Ada. Scan this. There we are. <laughs> well, that does that. That's yeah. Piece. Take the Mr. Handy Fuel. Ooh. Economy Wonder Glue. That shit's awesome. Yeah, industrial art. Oil container. Hell yeah. Okay, now we'll turn that off. Look at how fucking fortified this door is. Holy shit. Incoming robot detected. Opening security doors. So if we hadn't installed the MSAT on Ada, we wouldn't be able to get through this door. Some serious security here. <laughs> All right. Classes, but all right. Oh, this begins. This lock. Ah. Man, I've just been breaking lock bobby pins like it's going out of style. There we go. Got that one. Wow. All right. I don't think there's anything else actually in, in here that we want. Oh, well, I can pick up that telephone. Sure. Ooh, take ammo. We like ammo. Hell yeah. We're eventually going to want those electromagnetic cartridges. Take that. We'll take this. Okay. Cruise through all this. Alright. So, security office terminal. Just a quick summary. Authorization policies. Personnel must display rank 22. Updated photo ID. Uh... Guess must present a signed letter of approval from General Rawlings. So yeah, they have pretty secure. <laughs> they have pretty crazy security here. And right now we're dealing with an Epsilon Six security alert. So in the event of a fault in the code conditioning protocol (CCP) resulting in a mass uprising of the robot janitorial staff, uh, so okay, and that's what's going on here. Uh, everything's going to be uh, remote terminal functions will be disabled. The control center will uh, enter an automated lockdown state. The facility staff are advised to arm themselves and shelter in place. Uh, the alert may be terminated by remote authorization from the MROC or by the facility administrator from the master control terminal in the control center. As a failsafe, the control center has been compromised. A limited manual override can be initiated in the elevator access terminal, security room 3. Voice print identification of three registered class 2 supervisor level employees is required to activate the override. This is going to be important later. And so this is just protocols and shit. Sometimes the game does uh, kind of swarm you in information so that sometimes you might miss what might be kind of important. Let's see, can we... Mm. Yeah, so it's not E. Placed, no, no, that would be two. Nope, it's not that. It could be that. Sweet. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Decontamination. Uh, activate decontamination arches. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, security door control. Uh, I don't want to close the doors. Turret control. I think we're already... Yeah, deactivate. Just in case there are any others. Okay. Takes care of that. Alright, we'll take the flip lighter. And this elevator access terminal. This is why we needed... <laughs> Annihilated. <laughs> but this is why we needed the master lockpicking. Now you can do this from the terminal, 
But, um... Let's see. Do I want to mess with this now? Uh... You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll deal... We'll... We'll do all that at once, because maybe I'll just do a clip of that. Just to show... Just to kind of walk anybody through that. How it works. In totality. Maybe I'll just do that. All at once. Got it. Okay. And now the beginning. Now the fun part. We got a couple other robots. Ah, missed it. <laughs> Junk bot dying beep. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh man. All right. And then yeah, we'll take the ammo. Hey, Ada. Use this. And into the facility we go. Or we'll take that soap. Uh, I think we'll be a little judicious of what we grab here. Okay, we're definitely picking the ammo box. We like ammo. Ooh, so close. Nice. Yeah, that's money. Yay, light bulbs. We love light bulbs. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, dog meat. Well, wait on that, Ada. Take some covers of the thing that actually can shoot us. Okay. Now that's how you use cover. Very effectively. Yeah. Fortunately, I had to go in the open. There was no real firing lane. We'll take the biometric sensor. Ooh, we'll take that. Oof. Man, these things have awesome, uh... Why is there... Must be a different room. Just make sure there's nothing valuable over here. Yeah, sure, we'll take the baseball. Yeah, sure, fine. I'm not gonna worry about that shit. We'll take the pack of duct tape. Hell yeah, we will. Moving on. Robot storage terminal. Uh, there's nothing important in that terminal. Take the Wake Master alarm clock. Okay. But I just want to make sure there's nothing important over here. There is not. So we're keeping our uh, eyes open for two things in, uh, three things in particular. Yeah, sure. We'll take the melon. We can farm that later. We will take. And we'll pick up that plate, move it over there, grab the Nuka Cola Quantum that was hiding. Yeah, Jangles the Moon Monkey. That's nah, two pounds. Let's not pick that up. That's not worth our. That is not worth the weight it costs, uh, it takes to carry it. Microscope is not bad. Where is it? <laughs> there we go. Lead Engineer's Hollow Tape. That's one. Do 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 do. Stairs. Ah, and if I needed to modify Ada, or you know, needed to, or wanted to, we could. Ooh. Hey. Yes. No, I don't. I want to grab the duct tape. Thank you. <laughs> do do do. Look, don't see anything. Wait. Oh, right. I just walked through here. Okay. We need to go upstairs. It is easy to get turned around. See. 
Fuck it. That's time. Time for the ultra fast, ultra violence. <laughs> Followed up by some manual shooting. Yeah, we'll take that. Definitely like oil. Oil is so valuable in this game. Yeah, we'll take two pulse grenades. Let's actually equip the pulse grenades. Oh, good. I do have pulse grenades equipped. Sweet. Considering how uh, useful they are against... Bastard. Fuck, that hurt. And I'm on fire. <laughs> That's lame. My alert queen stick. Yes. We are going to be... Since we're going to be fighting a bunch of this shit, let's take the my alert queen stake because what that will do is also boost our endurance. Which we're going to need. Take that. Fuse. Got him. Yeah. Unfortunately, dog meat was not going to escape that blast. He was too close to it. Hey, buddy. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. But we can go in there and see what else we may... See what else uh, might be in there. And yeah, we'll take the railway spike. Why not? I don't think we picked up any armor. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Why not? I don't think there's anything else of real value in here. Okay. Out here we go. What is this? This closes the door. Uh, hopefully Ada didn't get caught in there. Ada's not in there, is she? God damn it, Ada, you're in there. Okay, good. I've had playthroughs where Ada gets stuck in there, and oh my god. It's really annoying to have to go back there and pick her up. For a second there, I thought uh, <laughs> I missed a bot. I saw movement. There was no movement. Coolant. All right. Here, we'll take that one little block. Here. Move along, Ada. Move along. Got a toggle rod. Fuck that thing. Yes. <laughs> and you can see a very large open chamber beyond here. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just, I'm just going to kind of get a little ahead of ourselves here. This is the chamber that you would normally have a gigantic fight with the mechanist and, uh, and all of those robots. Open this. It's a gigantic chamber. It's like a gigantic arena fight. It's probably worth more XP to do it that way, because you kill so many robots. That's okay. Mm. Nope, the other direction. Oh, so close. There we go. We're almost there. Yes. A clever way to bypass that lock. Oh, you have no idea the shit we're about to bypass. <laughs> the interesting rhetoric. Where is this robot? It's going to come out of here in a second. There it is. There's another. Ow. 
took a chunk out of me. That's all right. We got there. We're okay. We're okay. That's what food's for. Really? Let's see. <sighs> Take some purified water while we're at it. I mean, that is definitely the cool part about the game is it does a really nice job of, uh, because food and water is what heals you. So it kind of simulates the need to snack as you're kind of going through this. Yeah, unfortunately that, that uh, nuclear reactor is just leaking radiation like crazy. Yeah, we don't need any more. Yeah, we'll take the antifreeze. Always gotta be careful. Where is it? Oh. Sneaky little bugger, aren't you? You were hiding right there. I'd forgotten about you. I totally forgot about you. But the reason they do that is because there are a bunch of uh, those robots that hide in here. So it just kind of preps you to uh, look out for it. Come on. Thank you. We'll take the chalk and the granite proof bottle. Now then. There you are. Another. Come on. Ada, you're kind of in the way. Okay. Once Ada moved, I was able to get it. Uh, hey, thank you. But there's more. Ooh, fusion core. And another biometric scanner. Sweet. Okay. But there's going to be another robot hiding. I think it's right there. It's not it right there? Okay. Nope. I knew it was in here. I just forgot where. Hey, guys, out of the way. Out of the way! What I definitely don't want to do is accidentally drink the water. Yeah, that's what Vats is for. Bulls Vats kill this thing. I probably should have done a critical hit to save some ammo. Heads up. Man, these guys keep getting in the way. Heads up. Perfect. And you can now carry all of this good loot. Yeah, we got a bunch of good loot in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Once we're down there, guys. that's quite enough of that. Now up we go, and there's another hollow tape we need up in this bridge area up here. And there'll be another iBot talking shit about us. That's a lot of rads. <laughs> Those are a lot of rads. Yeah, we'll definitely take the stealth boy. Question is, where is that hollow tape? It could be in the terminal, actually. Not really. Hey, Seraph. Why don't you? Fucked us up more. <laughs> Got it. Here we go. Oh, nope, there it is. Perfect. Oops. I thought they were done talking. <laughs> Sorry. But blah, blah, blah. Your reign of. Terror will come to an end. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem. The data is all the way over there. Hopefully that's not a problem. Shit. With any luck, the game will warp her to uh, where we need to go. If not, we'll just hit the button and we'll, we'll go back. It should be okay. Over here. Uh, there we go. Good. Thank goodness. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm not going to bother anything in here because we'll be able to salvage anything in here, Over here. very easily later. Yeah, the Mechanist Lair is huge, man. It is a big ass dungeon. Uh, you know what? That mech, that microscope is close enough. Forfeiture. All right, well, there's the terminal password. Yeah, let's just take the terminal password. Fuck it. Let's go take a look and see what's in here. We already have the forfeiture terminal password, so if you couldn't hack this door, you could just grab that holotape. Remote control, yep. Let's open the doors. I know, I could have gotten XP for doing, um, for hacking that, but I really didn't feel like hacking that door. Let's see. Man, what kind of place was this where this is the shit that got f <laughs> confiscated from employees? Ooh, we picked up some gold. Sweet. We love pre-war money. Yeah, we needed ammo in the worst way. Military ammo bags are awesome. Yes. We'll take missiles, <laughs> military ammo bags, robot parts model. We'll take med X. Hell fucking yes. Okay, this place is awesome. All right, moving on. Ada, for the love of God. Okay. We came in through there. Yep. And we got some ghouls here. This part's pretty interesting. We got a lot of lockpicks. Well, one more. There we go. Oh, damn. Got it. Nice. Over tablespoon. Bobby pins. All right. A lot of these ghouls are still uh, alive. So that's a problem. So you just have to be careful. You can't just open all the doors willy nilly. You gotta be careful first. Which we will do. But tons of XP to be had from opening all these locks. It's a little silly to open some of them considering there's nothing in them. Okay, that, that's obviously dead ghoul. A little bit more. There we go, got it. Sweet. Yeah, some of the ghouls you can tell. That's that's a living one. Wait, how did I get hit? Oh, Ada hit me. Fucking friendly fire. Nice job, Ada. <laughs> right, I don't have the perk that makes me immune to my companion's uh, shots. Got it. So inspirational will remove friendly fire. I just haven't done that yet, clearly. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you could tell even without having to do vats. Ah, crap. Nice. We like money. Take money. No, no, don't open fire, Ada. I'm right here. <laughs> there we go. One more. Yes. But yeah, interesting. We see a little Robo Brain, uh, mini Robo Brain thing here. You know what? I'm just gonna let Ada shoot it. Jesus, Ada. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to conserve my ammo there at that point. I'm like, yeah, you, you've got it, Ada. Don't worry. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's way like acid. This person did not turn into a ghoul. Just a nice little skeleton in there. So close. Nope, went to a little the wrong direction. Got it. And then theoretically. And theoretically, what you could do is you could relock all of these doors and relock pick them. Theoretically. Nice. Granted, that's really tedious. But it is an interesting way. It's a non standard way of farming XP if you really needed it. Like, if we were really close to leveling up, maybe. Although it's just. Even this is a little tedious. I mean, each one of these is uh, is worth it. Get you. Plus, I kind of need to practice lock picking anyway. Sweet. Right, that should be all of them. Yeah, one more. Oh, that. that nope. Not unless you shot me, Ada. <laughs> as long as you don't shoot me, I'm not injured. Yes. Okay. Take that. Perfect. All right. Uh, fine. One more. Just one more. One more. One more. Nice. Okay. One of the interesting things here now is we're gonna go up here. Most of these terminals are missing. We'll take clipboard. Yep. We theoretically could just jump into some of these. Take the protectron model on this. Medical observation. So subject A22, convicted of serial killings, DC area. Shows higher brain function, weak constitution. Shouldn't be long until his brain survival rates for procedure is no longer at risk. Uh, convicted for arson. Uh, recommended for termination. Uh, evaluation highly emotional. Uh, currently on a cocktail of antidepressants, anti-anxiety. Dr. Asselford is starting psychiatric sessions to further see if she's a good candidate. So we got a bunch of... Uh, it's basically like a t t an observation to see clearly who's eligible for something. Uh, all these are kind of criminals. Ex-military, convicted of second-degree manslaughter, subject highly intelligent, proved to be mentally sound, approved for candidacy. So that gives us a little bit of a better insight as to what might have been going on here in this cell ward. And now... Let's activate this elevator. I don't remember if there's... Okay, there isn't. <laughs> I couldn't remember if there was something waiting for us here or not. <laughs> so, sometimes it's better to uh, just be prepared. Alright, we're almost... Oh, we got rid of our rads. We're almost at the end here. Okay, we just gotta make sure... So also, most in most of Fallout, there are no ladders you can climb. Uh, most of the time it's like a door and all that, but yet here you are with a ladder we can climb. It's one of the few in the game that lets you climb it. There's a stim pack up here. But yeah, for the most part, very few ladders uh, that'll let you climb them. Not really sure why they don't include that many ladders, but there's one here in the DLC. I we take as much as we can carry. Why? Not really sure. But it's here. Uh, no, let's not take the moldy food. We'll take that. Yeah, we'll definitely take in the purified water. I am looking for the last holotape. There it is. Chief Scientist's holotape. Perfect. We can get the hell out of here. And now we head back. We could continue down, but I think it's time to wrap this up. Now we head back. Back up we go. Head up. We're almost there. Do do do. 
helps when I actually hit the right button. Since we picked up some purified water, let's drink some. And now we do a little bit of backtracking. Because again, if we just continue forward, we're going to fight the mechanist. And we're not doing that. Take a test tube. Yeah, sure. Grab the microscope. Oh, right. Wasn't necessary to do that just yet. So this is going to be oh so lovely. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes, we can just jump down. We don't need to go through that whole thing. Now, if we need to go back over that way, we'll hit a button over there and call the thing over, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. We've got our three holotapes. We are good to go. Let's make haste. Yeah, we didn't miss anything. Good. Up here we go. Pretty much just making quick work of this. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take the gas canisters. Hell yeah. Right, we had a fight in there. Kind of lost track of it. Back, back, back. Sure. It weighs next to nothing. <laughs> See, when the Dust Devils were talking about uh, an assembly line and whatnot rhetorically, they uh, had no idea that, yes, in fact, it was. <laughs> the Mechanist Slayer is literally a robot factory. Which explains why the mechanist was able to... Ooh, Day Tripper. Right, I'd forgotten there was Day Tripper up here. Uh, yes, give me the toothpaste and pen. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah. Giddy up Buttercup body. That thing's awesome. That's got springs and shit. Ooh. -hoo. Uh, right, we already got that. No, 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 no. Okay. Got all these. Yep. Nothing else valuable in those. Come on, Violet. Don't get tired already. <laughs> Alright, so now we're all the way back up at the top. Okay. Now then, let's save. Okay. So now, here's how you do the secret way. Let's turn off our uh, flashlight here. Okay, destructive. We've got likeness too, huh? So, this tends to be a little easier because you've got more letters to work with. And the higher your intelligence stat, the fewer choices you have. My intelligence isn't super high yet. So I haven't, um, so it actually is still giving us a bunch of these. Okay, there's nothing in common in that one. So there's an R. T and an I. Okay, so there's three in common with that one. That's not going to work. Hologram. Okay, nothing in common with that one. Um, oh, actually, there's two in common with that one. Nice. Perfect. All right. Wow, we actually made easy work of that one. All right, so now we're going to... Uh, so at this point, an Epsilon 6 security alert's been declared. All systems have been locked down. Secure your station and wait further instructions. Now remember, the security station mentioned that it required three, uh, three personnel of a certain executive rank in order to override this. So if we just do initiate manual override, confirming availability, please provi provide the requisite authorization. All right, standing by for authorization. So now we load holotape and chief scientist holotape. Anise Hiraletti, chief scientist. This is the third time I've had to request more security. As thorough as our assembly procedures may be, there's a human factor to be considered. These are criminal and unstable minds. It can't be a scientist's job to ensure each test subject is properly sedated. I was promised military assistance and security, but we need more. I won't allow my crew to be endangered. As fascinating as it may be to integrate the human mind with robotics, sometimes I wish I never signed on to this project. 
And so I'm also going to play the whole holotape because we didn't actually listen to the holotapes before. And look at that. Just like that, standing by and one out of voice, one out of three voice prints confirmed. So now we're going to eject that holotape. Uh, okay, load. And now, so we've got the chief scientist's uh, facility director. <laughs> so uh, we've ejected that and now we just have one more now what was the what was the last one actually wasn't jezebel's uh lead engineer there we go lead engineer thomas harkin so far we're tracking on schedule for the latest robo brain milestone dr asante has assured me that the active time between memory wipes has been greatly increased Hopefully, that will hold true in our latest live testing. The senior engineers also inform me that their latest assembly line adjustments have been completed early. I can only hope that means due diligence was still paid, and we're not going to be looking at a total system breakdown again. Other than that, I'm still worried about the, uh, test subjects. Right now, we've got more than enough to meet our demand. But it's not like these things grow on trees. And just like that, confirm manual override. Let's eject that. And yes, let's confirm the manual override. Boom. All right, limited manual overrides now in place. And just like that, this elevator opens. Going down. Control center. Okay, Ada. Ah, uh, fuck. Ada didn't come down with us. This is going to look a little bizarre. So just kind of go with it. <laughs> and look at this. It's impossible. I control all points of access to this room. You underestimated me. A regretful miscalculation. You bypassed <laughs> the pinnacle of free war security systems. I can see you're no common criminal. Perhaps we can reason this out. Let us discuss this. Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You are... You are right. I'm... Isabel. Cruz. The Mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and i still failed how does the commonwealth have any hope against people like you hey i'm not the enemy i'm the one trying to protect the commonwealth against your robots they have taken innocent lives my friends they were simple traitors all dead at the hands of your robots that can't be right <sighs> explain yourself They're misinterpreting orders. Your own robo-brain said as much. They're saving people by killing them. Saving by... killing? No. It's... the logic. It's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the robo-brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. <laughs> their primary directive was flawed. The robo-brains require memory wipes? Yes. The human brain has a way of rewiring itself. If not properly maintained, it, it can corrupt. Corrupt. That's the understatement of the year. They're killing machines. I take every precaution. The risk is minimal. <laughs> Now you know the truth. Your robots are dangerous. 
They had to be stopped. The hero unknowingly became the villain. I want to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. <laughs> Tell me, why the mask? What's with the mechanist? I'm not good with people. The mechanist gave me a way to put myself out there without really being out there at all. But you're kind of keeping me in suspense here. I can turn this around. I, I just need a chance. I'm not here to kill you. Only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the Commonwealth will. Here, take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... I'd rather this place be in your hands now. Just like that, we now have access to the facility without having to actually fight the mechanist. Now we'll save. Because every so often I try to go at this and the game will freeze there. <laughs> and then it just freezes and then you have to go through that whole dialogue again. So yeah, no, I'd much rather just do that. Cancel the alert. Boom. Here's the nice little control center. With all the robo brains. <laughs> Hi. Hey, just one more thing. If you have a minute. And so that pretty much wraps up Automatron. I'm going to end up talking to Isabel. We'll talk to Ada. But you also get the Mechanist's Lair as a kind of settlement. It's not really a settlement. But um, but we can we can build stuff in here and stuff like that, which is which is pretty cool. Sure. Get lost. Yeah. I don't have time for you. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you have let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. There we go. And of course, it has minus 15 damage from robots. Although the Mechanist Helmet plus one Charisma and Intelligence is pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Seriously? How many robots are out there? Quite a few. <laughs> There's a lot of ground to cover on the Commonwealth, so there's kind of a whole bunch out there. Sure. Great. Let's see here. Yes, there's another one out there. Hope it's not too much trouble. And so anytime we ever want to do one of these, we could just talk to her and she'll send us after another robot. So basically a, a uh, radiant, it's another radiant mission. Uh, Radiant Quest, rather. All right, so, yep, here's uh, here's our that main chamber where we would have had the fight with her, if uh, if we hadn't kind of gone through there, and done it the way we did. But anyway, so let's stash all that in there. Woohoo! And now we could talk to Ada as soon as we figure out where the hell Ada went. <laughs> uh, I guess we could go. Oh, there's Ada, working her. She's working her way down. I think Ada's working her way down. Maybe Ada's working her way down. But if we uh, if we exit, she'll she'll warp back out. I mean, we could just go up here and get back to her, but uh, it's probably easier if we just go outside and we'll talk to her outside. So the easy way in and out of the mechanist's lair is simply yeah, we'll do that. But there's this elevator right here. Dog meat warped to us. Of course, Ada didn't warp to us. Yeah. 
But once we go outside, Ada will. And then we can talk to her. I'll grab all this shit the next time we actually go into the Mechanist's Lair. And just like that, we're back here. Uh, no, I actually, I don't want to be grabbing at any of that stuff. Um, but yeah, we just... Anyway. So yeah, nice little back door into our now, now our lair. So for this particular playthrough, the idea is nobody else will even know about that place. The only one who does know is Ada. And uh, so it will give us, even if things really go south in the Commonwealth, we'll still have a very safe, defendable location that at the very least we could go back to and, uh, and either plan or just be safe. And as you'll see, we'll pop out right next to that one warehouse and the diner that's uh, just north of Boston Airport. And so that pretty much will wrap things up pretty well. It's already fairly late, but we're going to talk to Ada. We're going to finish that. And then what we might do is just fast travel to Sanctuary and see if maybe we can get our Vault Tech rep guy uh, taken care of. Hopefully we can. Hey, cat. Wait, where's Ada? Oh, come on, Ada. Really, Ada? Okay, well, that it's counting down, so she must have warped out somewhere else. Come on, Ada. Come on, Ada. Where is she? She's probably over here. That is bizarre, man. <laughs> that is bizarre. She must have come out the other door. Whatever. Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. <laughs> I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? The robo-brains were responsible. It was their twisted logic that started all this. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. <laughs> She's an idiot. She's lucky to be alive. <laughs> She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the mechanist's True. robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive, halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment, and I have you to thank for it. There we go. And just like that, we now have access to all the robot mods and everything else. So perfect. But yeah, let's let's warp. Let's warp to Sanctuary. We'll fast travel there. We'll get McCready real quick. Actually, we'll grab all of Ada's junk. We'll toss it in the workbench. And then we'll re-grab McCready. We'll talk to the vault Tech rep. Maybe we can actually assign him to things now. That would be nice. Maybe by leaving and coming back and reloading the cell, we can fix uh, the vault Tech rep. If not, oh god. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if uh, Look alive. Sure. if we don't have access to him as a merchant, but that still stinks a lot if uh, if I lost access to him because I hit a wrong button. But that would suck. All right, so there's Sturgis. There's Jezebel. We can talk to Jezebel real quick, actually. I don't see... At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? All right, so I guess she really doesn't have anything to talk about. Fine, so be it. Let's see, there's Carla. We already sold uh, purified water last time. Why am I not seeing McCready? There's Sheffield. There's Sturgis. Where the hell is McCready? All right, fine, if we don't find him. There are two options if you can't find a companion. Like, in a super easy way. And I guess we're going to do it this way. Okay, fine. Alright, so you could do it one of two ways. You can either... Yeah, there's Preston. Of course. 
I'm seeing everybody but the companion I want. Well, actually, I don't see Piper at the moment either. Um, but you can go into the workshop. And I don't think that's what I want. Um, defense, resources, stores. I think it's furniture. Miscellaneous. Is it this? I don't think so. Okay, it's not that. Okay, so it's not one of these. Must be a structure. Probably going to be a miscellaneous structure. We're looking for the bell. I'm not seeing the bell. Huh. Decorations, maybe? What you want is a is a bell, and you could ring the bell, and everybody in the entire... Um... And the entire settlement will come to it and they'll hang around this bell. It's a vanilla item. I don't know where I've... I don't know where I'm... I don't know why I can't find it. Maybe it's in resources? Yep, there it is. Sorry, it took me a second to track it down. But yeah, if you build this and ring it, everybody in the settlement will just come to it. Uh, and so there's that. But... If you have the Contraptions DLC, there is an easier one. Uh, contraptions or vault Tech DLC, actually? Uh, I think it's the vault Tech DLC, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, I am totally blanking on all this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> vault Tech Manu... There it is. Okay, yeah, vault Tech DLC. So we're going to build that. We're going to connect this. Okay. And then with the vault Tech Population Management System, we're going to access the VIP Tracker. Show McCready. Cool. All right, and it activates a quest that you can now go in here. Over oh, good. There's McCready. Fucker. <laughs> and then we'll go in and uh, okay so yeah he's just he was just in this house I just missed him but that is the easy way if you ever need to track down a companion and you don't like have any idea where you left them nothing I hate more than raider scumbags if you run into any put a few down for me you want to no, be sure. careful I can fix most things but people don't fix so easily I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone Oh my god, hey everybody's there. talking to me. Nice to be on the open road. I miss him so much. Good neighbor was starting to wear out. It's welcome. Ah. Sounds like you had a rough Perfect time timing. back there. We'll just bro. do this real quick. That's putting it mildly. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Caps aren't worth risking your life. Easy for you to say. But right now, I need every cap I can get. I hope you aren't in trouble. No, not really. But uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm going to be straight with you. It's those two asshole, <clears throat> Those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. I wouldn't trust those guys, even if you paid them off. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless... Maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make this easy on you. 
you feel like helping me with this, head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. Perfect. And now clearly... There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Time to hit the road. About time. I was getting bored. Perfect. And we'll send Ada to... Uh... No, we'll keep Ada at Sanctuary. We'll keep her here. Alright, so now we can go and shut down the tracker. And so some companions like Piper, you just spend enough time with them, you eventually max them out, they give you the perk, and life is good. And in the case of Piper, we romance her, because Piper is fucking awesome. Um, but some companions, like McCready and others, they'll give you quests that you have to complete before you can max out their affinity. And so now we've got this one. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want to access the VIP tracker. Perfect. And we're going to hide McCready. Perfect. All right. Shut down the tracker. Perfect. Okay. And that's the end of that quest. And so now it's not going to be cluttering up our, uh, all this shit. But we do want to do long, long road ahead. Where is the, where is Rogue Robot? Oh God, it's going to be on their way to the Mask Pike Interchange. Great. That's just great. All right. So when we, when we resume next time, whenever that happens to be, we'll head over to Mass Pike Interchange. We'll start on McCready's quest. Uh, we'll deal with Ro Rogue Robot. We'll take out the uh, two idiot gunners uh, <laughs> that McCready's kind of fallen in uh, out of favor with at the Mass Pike Interchange. That will unlock raising his affinity further. And then we'll cruise over to Green Top Nursery and deal with their ghoul problem. Um, and actually... And somewhere in there, we'll do old guns at the castle, which is a really fun quest. And so we've 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 got our work cut out for us. But in the meantime, let's save. Uh, that was a, this was good. We dealt with Automatron, and it usually does take two sessions or at least two streams to take on Automatron. I mean, unless I did one really long, long one. Um, but generally, I don't stream for a really long time with Fallout. Uh, although we'll I guess we'll see. Uh, so this Saturday. The plan will be to finish off Earthbound. Let's do, let's get to the ending stream portion. Let's see who we want to raid out to. Maybe Darkstar is still on. Uh, but the plan will be, we will, um, we'll be planning to do an Earthbound stream this Saturday. And we should finish the game on Saturday. That would be fun. It's actually funny. I was talking about uh, a friend of mine uh, about the alternate way of doing uh, the Automatron DLC. And I was even telling him, like, yeah, we're going to do it the secret way where we avoid the fight. And uh, he was just like, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, you're like, wait, more violence? You, you mean more violence, right? And I'm like, no, 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 the opposite. <laughs> uh, but yeah, leave it. If uh, if there's an option to do a speech option to complete a quest, leave it to Seraph to find it. Uh, but yeah, there, so that's the other way <coughs> of, uh, of finishing off the Automatron DLC. Rather than confronting the mechanist in that massive room and fighting, I want to say literally like 50 robots. It's a lot. It is a crazy, it is just wave after wave after wave of robots, I feel like. Um, I do think it ends up being uh, like some crazy number, uh, like 50. Uh, I really do think it ends up being something like that crazy. Um, but in any event, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I hope everybody has a great remainder of their week for what you know, little there is on it. And um, let's see. No, I think we're just gonna call it here. It's 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 pretty late. I'm just I'm just gonna shut I'm just gonna shut stream down here. Um, but yeah, for anybody who wants to uh, join in again on Saturday for Earthbound, feel free. And we will see what I end up doing Sunday night. I may end up starting E6 on Sunday night. And we will, I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling East again. And so that's a good possibility. The alternative is that we finish Earthbound and then I play E6 on um, on Saturday. Uh, so we'll see. Super Retro Sunday this Sunday. Excellent. That is always a great time. So yeah, maybe E6 would be a good uh, a good segue after, after Super Retro Sunday. Um, so I don't know. Well, I... I've got a couple of days to think about it, and I'll, I'll just we'll, we'll go from there. But in any event, everybody, have a great one. Thank you again. Life is good. Take it easy. 
And until next time, I will see you guys approximately later. Ciao!